Hi, I'm Susan Alexander from The Funky Professor. It's time to grab a pen and get into this week's Funky Friday Anatomy Quiz. Question one. On which bone can you find the lesser trochanter and what muscles attach to it? Question two. What are the terminal branches of the abdominal aorta called? And at which vertebral level does the abdominal aorta divide? Question three. Which four muscles make up the quadriceps muscles? And what is their nerve supply? Question four. Where are the islets of Langer hands found? And what do they do? And the final question for this week is where is the anatomical snuff box found and what are its boundaries? So the answers. Question one, the lesser trochanter is found on the femur. In fact, it's found on the proximal and medial aspect of the femur. The psoas major and iliacus muscles attach here. They are both powerful flexors of the hip joint. Question two, the abdominal aorta divides into the right and left common iliac arteries, just left of the midline at vertebral level L4. Both these arteries go on to divide into the internal and external iliac arteries, which go on to supply the structures in the pelvis and the lower limb. Question three, the quadriceps muscles are a group of four muscles, as the name would suggest, found in the anterior compartment of the thigh. They comprise the rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus intermedius and vastus lateralis and they're all supplied by the femoral nerve. The islets of Langerhans are found in the pancreas and they contain endocrine or hormone producing cells. These include alpha cells that produce glucagon, beta cells that produce insulin and amylin, and delta cells that produce somatostatin. Glucagon increases glucose and fatty acids in the blood by causing the liver to convert stored glycogen into glucose. Insulin has the opposite effect in that it lowers the amount of blood glucose by converting it into glycogen for storage in the liver. Somatostatin plays an important role in regulating the secretion of many hormones around the body. Question five was related to the anatomical snuff box, which is a triangular shaped area found on the dorsal aspect of the wrist. The proximal boundary is the styloid process of the radius. The medial or ulnar border is the tendon of extensor pollicis longus. And the lateral border or radial border is the tendon of extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus. Now I know that a lot of students find these borders confusing because although it is referred to as the ulnar border, the tendon of extensor pollicis longus, which is the medial or ulnar border, lies over the radius bone. But you have to remember that the radial or lateral border refers to the position of the hand in the anatomical position, which is when the palms are facing forwards by the side of the body. In this position, it is much easier to appreciate that the most lateral aspect of this space is indeed the two tendons that are contained within the first dorsal compartment of the wrist. These are the extensor pollicis brevis and the abductor pollicis longus. The extensor pollicis longus in the anatomical position is positioned towards the ulnar bone relative to these other two tendons. So how did you do this week? Let me know if I need to make the questions easier or harder, or if there are any burning topics that you feel I may have missed out so far. Remember, it's Friday, so stay funky! Your anatomy